Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We well, thank God for how far he has helped us up to now. The theme of today's program is um, Glory of the Youth. And as we've had since morning that we've started, but one thing I want us to know is that for this glory to show forth in our lives to the fullest, we need a heart like Christ. We need a Christ-like heart to do the right things at the right time and to put to place things that are supposed to be. And I pray that as you listen, God will help us in Jesus' name. I try to reach out for you, but I fall. Sometimes you seem so close and yet so far. But I need another chance. I need to know your mercies. Just give me the strength to change with I know that I not all that I can be my weakness seems to get the best of me but as long as we are here I need to know your mercies just give me the strength to change Heart like yours is my desire. Heart like yours is what I set you for. Full of compassion, nothing wrong with me. Give me a heart like yours. I try to reach out for you, but I fall. Sometimes you seem so close and yet so far. change with thee I know that I'm not all that I can be my weakness seems to get the best of me Full of compassion, nothing wrong with me. Please hear me, Lord. Give me your heart like yours. So much grace, so much kindness. So much pain. 
Getting there now. If you're looking for Pearl Bank, place City Hoshins. Place all right. We go into the, the penultimate uh, section now. Then, at this point, I'm going to welcome Pastor Samuel Adini as he comes up to do his things it's in his life. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. A powerful hallelujah. hallelujah. You have not seen the joy of the period in your in your in your in your heart. Let's rise up now. Shout a powerful hallelujah. hallelujah. Are you tired? Stand up, stand up. Look at them sitting down. Stand up, youth, stand up. How many of us were here last year? Raise up your hand. Those who are here last year for this program, raise up your hand. Aha. Among those of us who are last year, that are now raise up their hand, who can tell us the topic of our study last year? Who knows it? No one. Somebody who knew it, raise up your hand and come forward. I will give you a prize. You can tell me what we studied last week. Last year, yes. Oh, yeah, come forward. Awaken the sleeping giant in you. Awaken the sleeping giant in you. No, don't go here to you. What did you learn from that uh, topic? No, you can go. Yes, come. Um, last year we were taught so many things. That as a youth, that we have so many gifts um, that has been deposited in us. That so we have to work on ourselves and make sure that our inner man receives the strength to come up and do and make use of those gifts the right way it's supposed to be praise the lord praise the lord i have a special prize for you when i'm going just see me and collect that uh, book i'll give you let's close our eyes 
close eyes, we don't come here to learn and forget. We are not here to entertain anybody. We are here to do serious work and get connected to our maker. So please, close your eyes now. And you are going to say, Lord Jesus, you are still sleeping. Lord Jesus, wake up your talent in me. So that I will not be useless in life. Pray like that in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray like that. So I will not be useless in life. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. So our Heavenly Father, we thank you once again this afternoon. We lift up your name because you are faithful. We appreciate you because you don't want us to come to this world and waste our generation. Here we are again, O oh God, before you. Because you are the author of our life. There is a purpose of our being. And Father, we come, O oh God, to wake up the God in us and be useful unto you. Father, help us in the name of Jesus. Help us in the name of Jesus. For those who are sincere and serious in our life, Father, wake up that particular thing. Right from today, in the mighty name of Jesus. So that our life will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for that answer prayer. For in Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen. Let's sit down. Uh, by the grace of God, today we are going a step further to what we studied last year. And that is where I ask the question, were you here? If you are here and you actually study with us, you didn't come for only from fear, but to be in God's presence and grow in the Lord. I felt to have built on what we study, awakening the sleeping giant in us. Today we are going to study the glory of the youth. Say after me, the glory of the youth. Say after me. Are you sleeping? The glory of the youth. That's what we are studying today. Please, I want to beg you to let every, your attention be on this pulpit. And the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Let's open to the book of Proverbs chapter 20. Let's bring out our Bible. Proverbs 20. Somebody should read for us. 20 verse 29. Yes. Somebody among us should read that portion. Yeah. The glory of young men is their strength. Great air, the splendor of the old. Okay, another version of the Bible. Another version from the words that I just read now. If you have a different Bible apart from what the one he has, if you have King James Version or any other version, read this please quickly. Uh huh. And the beauty of the old man are the gray hair. You see, from that, uh, I'm sure you have a copy of the discussion, Abby. Now, you find out that uh, from uh, the Bible uh, verse we just read now, it talked about the young man and the old man. In other words, the, the, it's the only time lag that keep them at the gap. You see, it said the glory the glory of uh, the glory of the young men is their strength, and the beauty of the old men is the gray head. You see, there's a gap. What what mean by youth? Who are the youth? The time of life when somebody is young. It's like that in your handout. You see, the time when somebody is young. In other words, we are in a progressive journey. Every day we are not growing younger. Every day we are moving a step further in a step of life. Whether you like it or not, you are no longer the same from what you had to used to be last year. You are growing, and if you don't know, your year is progressing. And as you are progressing, you are getting older. And that is why that who are the youth? I said the time of life when somebody is young. The time when the young person has not yet become adult. That's a simple definition. When they are yet to become full adult. 
they are young men. From all the above definitions, you know that uh, the, the, the determinant is timing. Timing is the determinant. In other words, usefulness is not static because it uh, grow, grow is involved. You grow gradually. A you today may not remain you tomorrow. Time is flying. Hence, we one day proceed to adulthood. There is no age limit to what can determine who a youth was. No age limit because it is the state of mind. Sometimes, in other words, you are as old as your mind tells you. Look up here. What, what are we saying? Sometimes you see old men, they said, I am still young. Because something inside of them is telling them they are still young. In other words, they are still agile. They are still strong within. You know what we are saying here? And where we read, the Bible said, the glory of the young men is in their strength. And the beauty of the old men is in the gray head. Youth are very important. Let's listen to this important statement. I said, youth are very important in every organization. Society at large. They are very, very important. Because it's a stage everybody must pass through before they become old. It is a bedrock of a community. Without the youth, there will not be continuity. The church cannot expand. The church cannot grow without the youth. Society cannot grow without the youth. The Bible told us in the book of Christ, chapter 2, verse 18 to 19, it says, Yea, I, ate, I hated all my labor which are taken under the sun, because I should leave it unto man, unto the man that shall be after me, and who know whether he shall be a wise man or a fool, yet, have, yet he have ruled over all my labor, where I labor. What is he telling us? That man, the writer says, even though the time is drawing closer, but whether I like it or not, I'm going to leave this land one day, a time was coming when you will grow old and you're going to leave the button onto somebody behind you. And that is why the life of a youth is very, very important. A time is coming when you will no longer become youth, when you will now grow to adulthood and become a mouthful. And one day you are going to depart this world and hand over your life to somebody else. Youth are very, very important. It is the primary concern of man. As well as God, that youth will be brought up in the way of the Lord. So there shall be, I mean, there will be a good continuity. A church like this needs people like you that are looking at me now. Because a time is coming when the old one in this church, they will pass on and the young one will take over. And that is why it is better for youth like us to pattern our life in the way of the Lord. So there will be continuity. In the service of God, there will be continuity in the family line. There will be continuity in the society. God spoke concerning Abraham. You see, he said, I, I know him. I know Abraham. For God to teach the children in the way of the Lord. As I'm passing across to you now, as this church organized a program for you now, is to pass across the mercy of God unto us. So there will be continuity. The church will not be, there will not be a time when the church will lack power. When God will not be here. God said, I trust Abraham. For he will treat the children the way of the Lord. Every youth heir today are product of one family or the other. I'm sure you know, you are a product of your own family. As I'm looking at you, you are from different homes. And you represent your family. If I want to know the quality of life that is inside you, it portrays the life of the family you come from. The family, the picture built inside of you will determine who you are. You see, a country cannot excel above its citizen. That is, you cannot grow above the society you come from. The family you are will show the quality of life that you can see inside of you. A church cannot be higher than the pastor. That is, like pastors, like congregation. You cannot overgrow your pastor. You cannot overgrow your parents. What you learn from your foundation will show the quality of life that you have. So a child usually resembles their parents. Therefore, no one can be better than the society that produces him. You see, we are all Nigeria air, isn't it? 
you cannot be a product of another nation because you are from this country and what comes out of your life represents the country you come from if, if you have traveled to other country you see children of those country how they behave they cannot behave more than the product of the nation they came out from every youth that know his true identity must pattern their life to please their maker to whom all are responsible both old and young what are we saying you see, youth, as you are looking at me today i want to encourage you to see yourself that god is waiting for something inside of you god is looking in unto you so that this continuity we are talking about will continue even after you you will the thing will not die with you the legacy we will give you to your own children and be able to produce a christ-like product in your own life also as this church is giving you education like this teaching like this be able to pass on to somebody else so it will not die with you for a better study of today's handling we're going to divide our study to uh, seven uh, points please listen very carefully because there's a time factor for us and because you're having the uh, paper with you i will not be able to write i mean go do to 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 go into details let us see first john chapter two first john chapter two first john chapter two verse 13 to 14. yes read for us first john chapter two i write to you aha uh -huh. i write to you young men because you have overcome the wicked one i write to you little children because you have known the father I have written to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God abides in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. Well, for, praise the Lord. You see, the writing of the Bible is not complete without measuring the youth. Please, I want to encourage those who are sleeping. Please, let those brothers to stand up. If you are sleeping, you are going to stand up. Because you will be walking around and be a nausea. You can't be sleeping here. So those of you that are sleeping, stand up and walk around. So you know the devil will not cheat you. Praise the Lord. You see, the writing of the Bible was telling us that youth are included. He said, I write unto you, parents. I write unto you, children, the youth. The Bible is not complete without you. Youth usually delight in their physical strength. Hence, they delight in showing this in public game, in exercise, and in exploits there are so many areas you find the youth because of the strength that they have and this strength if care is not taken can be misused do you understand can be misused and of course you see the youth in exercise like a football lawn tennis ludo boxing and wrestling and so on all the physical exercise you see the young men doing it because of the strength that they are having but may I tell you more, but, but moral strength is mightier than physical strength. You see, God is telling you, moral strength is mightier than physical strength. When you grow morally, when you grow intelligently, it's better than your physical strength without the sense. They must be exposed to the word of God, knowledge of God in relation to the creation, provision, and caring love and mercy you should be exposed to those areas many things are contesting for the soul of man today in fact satan has spread his tentacle everywhere in the life of the youth youth look up here what am i saying the satan has made a lot of web throughout the whole world to make sure he captured the youth and that is why a church like this must not neglect the youth because even within the internet within your phone that you are holding there are a lot of traps that are there that satan has said to lure youth into a cultic hello take up this brother stand up and walk around and you stand up yes and walk around praise the lord you see, many things are contesting for the soul of man. Satan has spent his tentacle everywhere to catch up the youth. Through your phone, you can be cut off. Through your phone, you can be cut off. Through your phone, you can be lured into iniquity. 
a church like this is building up is building up so that you will be useful unto god tomorrow technology and scientific advancement has greatly catch up with the use so much that sometimes they think because of the strength they have they can dabble into a lot of things there are so many things that people like us may not know but because of the technology because of the science which you are exposed to it can good as it may be it can swear be a trap for someone to catch up with you the whole world has become a global village exposed to internet and so on it's a trap nothing is secret in the whole world today culture moral religion most of the things that parents of our own used to be scared about to tell their children they already know it through the telephone and through the phone you are holding they already know it they are exposed to a lot of things one day my son bought me and uh, what do you call it uh, bundle they want to watch in the internet and i was browsing i just saw a website they call witchcraft so witchcraft is inside the phone he said witchcraft air quarter inside the phone said, ah let me see what is there see a lot of things so in other words in the phone you can be lure away you have to be very careful with your power nothing is secret again not all games are good for youth let's look up here you see there are a lot of game most of this game that you took look ordinary majority of them are not ordinary game and that is why major majority of us when you plug into those game you find that when you sleep you find yourself in different places you see not all the game game like judo judo martial art karate kung fu tarot occultic all those things are occultic game it looks like physical game i'm only telling you now all those games they are having spiritual undertone what behind it there's a power behind it and when you are fan of looking for it or playing with them you can be lure into occultic you can be lure into a lot of things not all the tv program can be watched children are you listening you see there are a lot of tv programs that are dangerous for you to watch because from the watching of that tv program you can be lure into familiar spirit you can be lure into witchcraft my prayer is you not become children of Belial in the name of jesus also avoid questionable libraries questionable library or museum where you could go into clairvoyancy hypnotisis and palm reading or tarot all this i'm mentioning now i'm sure you know it voodoo systems you see there's some library today it looks like they're just reading book there are other things that are doing there now you see all this that i mentioned now they are there clairvoyancy it on the hypnotis they will tell you that you can meditate how do you meditate i'm talking about they will say close your eyes blank your heart by the time you black your heart they don't think of anything when you black your heart you are bringing demon to come into your heart and they will take over is there anybody anywhere you go and they tell you like that run away from such a one and of course you see as youth there's tendency you may like to acquire power you say i want power i want to dominate others i want to command others all those systems you see it can lure children into go and join occult in the schools some of them going to witchcraft at a tender age some of them going to familiar spirit at a tender age because they want power to dominate others may it not be our portion in the mighty name of jesus you see i told you to avoid questionable libraries don't when your friend is inviting you ask details or what they do there because you're a child of god where we read the, before first chapter 2 verse 14 the bible say we we should lay emphasis on knowing the lord knowing the law you as a youth of the lord knowing the lord is very important you should know the lord you should serve the lord point number two now the soberness is better than frivolity let us see uh first timothy chapter four First Timothy 4, verse 12. Quickly, anybody who has seen it? First Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Let no man despise thy youth. Yes, go on. But be thou an example of the believers. Be thou an example of believers. Youth, can you hear? Timothy was a young pastor like you. Young at a tender age. He has known the Lord 
right from the youth. And of course, he was put as a general overseer in Ephesus. A young man at that, he has to elect leaders. He has to be a pastor general overseer for all the churches in Ephesus. Just at, a, at your own age. Timothy was like that. God has chosen him and invested upon his life. How do you use your own power? Soberness is better than frivolity. Oh, yeah, read on. An example of the believers in words, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Can you see now? When they assess the completeness of your life, Christ should be reflected in you, in your conduct, in your conversation, in the way you dress, the way you comport yourself. Christ is supposed to be seen in your life. You see, sober, sober minded, with humility and practical holiness, must be seen in our life as youth. Your dressing should reflect the content inside. How do you dress when you leave the church? How do you dress when you are in university campus? How do you dress when you are going to work? In the church now, nobody will know a devil because we all dress to conform to, to church standard. But how do you dress when you are no longer in the, in the church? I told you, you see, Jezebel we only attract her up. Many of us have been looking for who to marry. Many of us, you have been praying. People that are coming to me, they are unbelievers. If you are like that, what means your dress does not portray the content inside of you or that you are never a Christian? If you dress like an unbeliever, of course, unbeliever will look for you. When you dress like a child of God, your life will attract uh, a, a Christian like you. Your dressing portrays who you are. It shows who you are. Of course, we can know who you are by the way you dress. When a nurse comes here, you know who a nurse is. When a policeman comes here, you know what a policeman is. Because of what? The dressing they put on. How do you dress when you leave the church? Separation from the world, very, very important. You see, in the, when you're in your, anywhere you find yourself, God expects you as a Christian to separate yourself from the world. The Bible told us in 2 Corinthians chapter, chapter 6, verse 14 to 18, Be not unequally you together with unbelievers. Separate yourself in your dressing, in the way you conduct your life. You see, there are some things that you are doing outside the church. There are something they call campus couple. Campus couple. You go to university. Maybe you are looking for accommodation. And you couldn't get on time. A brother will say, well, you just tell you, sister, come and be living with me. And you pack your load and you are living with that brother. They call it campus couple. These are things a Christian must not be involved with yourself in. If you are part of that one, you are not a child of God. And I want to beg of you, go and separate yourself. Are you part of those who are indulged in drug taking or drug abuse or drug peddling? Some youth are being arrested in the airport daily because they involve themselves into drug. Many are smoking in their arms. Many of them are smoking, uh, uh, I mean, what do you call it? All those cocaine. You see, are you involved in unholy assignment? As a child of God, are you involved in all unholy assignment? Do you allow anybody to send you on errand that will be where, to send you an errand where Christ will not be found? Separation from the sinful brothers and sisters. Let us read uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. 1 Corinthians 5, 11. And let somebody open to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 2. Quickly. Anyone you have seen, just let me know. But now I have written to you. I have written unto you. Not to keep company with anyone named a brother. Not to keep company with anyone named a brother. Who is sexually immoral. Who is sexually immoral. Or covetous. Or covetous. Or an idolater. Or idolater. Or a reviler. Or a diviner. Or a drunkard. Or a drunkard. Or an extortioner. Uh -huh. Not even to eat with such a person. Can you hear the word of God now? Not to even to eat. With such a one, are you a child of God? The Bible commands you specially. Don't company with anybody called a brother or sisters who are fornicators. They are asking questions. There are some brothers that want to marry us. They are asking to have sex. Those people are not brothers at all. They are not Christian. There are those people I mentioned in the church. Anybody that tells you that you want to marry you and Rudy says, it's not a child of God. You better go and pray your prayer again. I run away from such a one. Second Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 2. Yes. Uh, 
Huh? Not all have faith. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for not all have faith. Praise the Lord. Show you, me your friend, and I know the type of person you are. You see, the like attract life. The type of friend that you are moving with actually show the quality of life that you two are living. Because like always attract like. Drunkard, occultic, homosexual, effeminate. Effeminate are those men who are dressing like women. They put yarn in their air. They plate their air like women. The Bible called them effeminate. People like that, they are not children of God. And when you now see a sister who dress also like men, you wear trousers like men, you do everything like men, people like that should run away from because the Bible called them effeminate. People like that run away from a such one. The homosexual, the frost, internet fraudsters, the thief and the robbers. Thief and the robbers. I know of a story of a particular a boy. The mother will say, let's go to church. And they force the boy to the church. While the message is going on, the brother with his friend, there was a reason that happened. The brother with his friend, they now tiptoe out of the church. They went and robbed the father of one of the friends. You see, who are you moving with? If you are moving with arm robber, you become arm robber. If you are moving with thief, you become thief. Even right inside the church, the youth, some of them will run out of the church. They went and robbed their parents at home to go and steal what the parents is at because they will, Papa will be enjoying messing in the church. They went with their gang to go and rob uh, other parents. Lack of a seriousness in anything you are doing. That is, partake either at home or school. You see, are you serious with what you are doing? We are in the church now. Many are busy sleeping. They are busy dozing because something inside of them want to destroy their life. And they don't know on time. And many of them, when preacher is going on like this, preaching inside the church, you see them play with phone. They will be working internet. Even inside the church. People like that, you run away from such a one. Because devil is working in such a life. Frivolity affects your positive response onto your academic pursuit and things of God. I said it plain on the phone. Why the message is going on either in the school or in the church, or while things like this is going on, your mind is going somewhere else. You are thinking of other things. Devil has come such a one. Some youth that belongs to ministers, you see, some ministers or pastors' children, they, they lack seriousness. Many of them don't decide the scripture. You see them throwing stone around because devil wanted to destroy their life. May it not be a portion in the name of Jesus. Lazy ones will only become active. Whenever food is ready, some of them are sleeping now. Let them bring food. They wake up and they begin to trust their neck. You see, it happens everywhere, even in the school. Even during the classes, they will not be serious. Let them see food. Their eyes will open. They will not be dosing away. If you are such a one, you need to work upon your life because frivolity can lead you to useless life. Point number three now power of a personal influence. Let us see First Corinthians chapter 16. First Corinthians 16, verse 11. Quickly. First Corinthians chapter 16, 11. Let no one despise him. Speed him on his way in peace, that he may return to him, for I am expecting him with the brethren. Titus chapter 2, verse 7. Titus 2, 7. Show yourself in all respect. Uh -huh. a, a model of good deed. A and model your, of good will. And in your teaching, show integrity. Can you see? Your teaching must show integrity. What is integrity? Integrity is probity. Integrity is sincerity. Transparency in every area of your life. That's what we call integrity. You see, personal, or I mean, power of personal influence now because youth used to influence one another i remember in those days before i became a christian anytime we are going out with my friend i know there's something inside of me that just from their home anywhere going we are going out together 
and we may be going to go and greet somebody and anytime i see there anybody preaching in the crusade i will just cut off from them i will go and listen they will be calling me come come you want to be hearing this book this history i say connect 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 after they put pressure on me i will go and join them you see there are some peer pressure that may influence your life you have to be very careful the earlier you submit your life to god the better you discover your purpose in life when you know your purpose in life no friend will put pressure on you and lure you away but rather your life will put pressure on their life for them to, to, to bring them to the lord the secret of your future success depend upon your early response to god and his world you want to succeed in life you want to be an achiever in life the earlier the better for you to respond to god who created you you see there are pressure from the world around you friends the peer group <clears throat> society at large film and home video internet and all this combined they may detect your choice in life you see what put pressure on you there are some children when they're watching television their eyes will be there but anytime the parents say let us pray they'll be dosing there are some people here now anytime they want to watch telly their eyes will be open when they want to read bible they will just away something is wrong in your research in life and that's why you need to keep watch anytime you notice that in your life you better go on your knee and tell god there's a pressure of that particular thing there are some people it is football when they hear football like this they can ban church you will not go to church they say no that's a football i can't go to tell the pastor i'm coming tell the my leader i'm coming people like that something is wrong with your spiritual life you must put god as number one in your life your choice will determine who you become your choice in life as i'm talking to you now will determine who you become in future when i was a lecturer i used to warn my children that you don't fail in one day failure started gradually and it be built up those that will make it to life you know when you are running a race when you say on your mark set go people that will make it in life they run fast and are going to make it but those who fail they fail gradually and failure continue to follow them as i'm talking to you now watch your life when you started your life from primary school there are some of your friends again you can't see again in secondary school you want to go to university when you get there there are some you couldn't see again they already drop along the line and if you are one that has dropped something is working against your destiny i want to pray with you that god will rescue us today in the name of jesus your choice in marriage for instance we determine who you become for marriage and destiny goes together. I've warned you in the teaching that your life and your destiny, your marriage, your marital life, and your success in life, and your success in your destiny, they go together. Be careful, hand over your life unto God, and God will help you in the name of Jesus. We must make our choices, and our choices will make us, and as we are warned, the Lord will, will, will guide us through in the name of Jesus. Number four. Let us read Lamentation chapter 3 now. Lamentation 3 verse 27. Huh? Uh -huh. It is good for a man to bear the yoke when he is a young. I can hear that young man when he came here to, to tell us how to make soap. He was telling you what he went through. He was telling you how he started. He started with nothing. And he was growing gradually. 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 Until he, is, he has not reached the peak of his life. But when you look at that man, he has excelled himself among many of us. Because there are some youths. They wasted their time of the youth. They wasted their time on frivolity. They wasted their time on, their, on the nonsense. You see, as that man was teaching... I remember myself something was telling me in those days when i was young something was telling me that my life i must not serve others i just make up my mind i'm not going to serve others i was working in the post office and i was that time they gave us a promotion to level five i was on level three before they jumped four and give me level five level five is about uh, 105 naira one around five naira Level 3 was 75 naira, 50 kobo. And I got admission. When I want to go to your admission that time, they call me. They said, don't go. 
You saw me promoted and become a postmaster. I just laugh. I say, post what? Postmaster. Leave that one alone. I'm going to go and read. And I went. I have no parents. I have no father. I have lost father. I was trying to, I have to lean upon God. I must make it in life. When I came out of the university, I, 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 by my study, I was working. Later, I lectured for about eight, uh, eight years. Something started to tell me again. Your life must not remain like this. I told myself, I am resigning. They call me, why are you resigning? I said, I'm resigning because I want my life to be better. He said, where are you going? I said, I'm going to the world. Something inside of me is telling me that I must not remain like this. Don't forget that you have to wake up that inside of you. You must make up your mind that your life will be better than that of your parent. If your parent is living in a respective place now, tell yourself you can be better. And your life will be better. But many of us, we are living a mediocre life. A life that will not be profitable. At the tender age of your life, you must run the race we're supposed to run so that your life can be different from that of your parents. Watch your friend also. Some people will become a slave. When I was in school, I think my best study was subject was accounting. One day, the lecturer walked up to me. He said, leave the profession you are doing. Leave that profession. Come and join accounting department. I don't look at it as a lecturer. Doctor, you know, Dr. Chike. Dr. Chike, accountant, before they become aid, it takes time. I don't want to work under anybody. I want to be a managing director. So I pursue my goal. You see, I want to beg of you. Wake up something inside of you. Refuse to live a mediocre life. Don't think like a servant. Think like somebody on top. And you will get there in the name of Jesus. Tell yourself, I will get there. You cannot even talk. Talk yourself to yourself, tell yourself, I will get there. You are not bold enough. Say it again. I will get there. I will get there. In the name of Jesus. You get the name of Jesus. It is usually good for young men to carry yoke in their youth so that their old age will be spent in peace and comfort. If you don't walk when you are young, there is a danger in future for you. Yoke of hard labor and seriousness to work and make provision for the family. Future is paramount. As a man, you must struggle when you have strength at the young age. So that in your, in your later time, you can enjoy your life. Knowing fully that the time and tide wait for no man. And the inconstancy of the world we are in today. This world will not continue forever. You see, there are some things you do not know now. I want to beg of you, wake up. There are some things I did not know. For instance, now, I know I'm going to, I'm going to serve the Lord. But I didn't know how I'm going to, when I'm going to serve the Lord. When I was doing business... You know that uh, they call me, I don't, when they see me go to work, I can go with another car and come with another car because I have plenty. When I'm driving like this, they can pick and sell, they call me and stop me and buy that car. I will carry another when I'm coming. I didn't know a time will come. A time will come your later life when your life will be limited. And that is why at your young age, make sure you become an achiever and you run the race with all your strength. The Lord will lead us there in the name of Jesus. You see, a lazy youth who indulge in playing away their time will spend their whole age in penury. Can you hear what I said now? Somebody who wastes their time in frivolity now. People are talking to you and you are rebelling. Your, your life at the end of life, the end of age, will tell you who you become. You see, a lazy youth. We indulge in plenty away their time. We spend their time in the, the old age in penury. The strength of the youth will not continue forever. It diminishes with ages. With age, therefore, learn from an ant. Ant doesn't sleep. Whenever they see food, they begin to load their houses with food. So that in the later time, we will get something. Point number five now. Ideal and ideal. The ideal of a clean life. You see, uh, let us read Psalm 119 verse 9. Okay, it's long. Let us read uh, Isaiah 3 verse 10. Isaiah 3 verse 10, quickly. Say to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doing. Read it again. 
He that Say is righteous. It to the righteous. Yes. That it shall be well with him. Uh -huh. For they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Can you see now? It shall be well with the righteous. We are expected to live a righteous life. As a youth. There's no shortcut to success in life. Live a righteous life. Somebody is watching your life. Your maker is watching your life. Live a righteous life. Refrain from all deceitful tendency and situation. All the deceitful business. Don't go into it. All the time to do evil. Don't run into it. You see, never involve yourself in dubious activities. No matter how hard, how tight the situation may be. Don't run into such a one. Don't say because my parents hasn't enough money. No, no, say because my brother is having enough, he doesn't have enough money for you to go and join band gang. Never you do that. Try to live a righteous life. Don't say because I have no job and I need money. You go go and indulge in sexual, in sexual uh, what with a man to get money. It's wrong. You see, never you involve yourself in dubious activities. In go and join the fosters or the Yahoo, 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 Yahoo boys. It's not for children of God. You see, wanting to live above your means simply because of others you are seeing You're on campus. In campus where you belong, many children are using cars. And because of that, is ah, so and so using cars. Let me too and go and join them. And go and join the Yahoo, Yahoo boy. You are children of God. You must not be involved in that kind of a thing. Live a contented life. Somebody is monitoring your life. And is watching your life to lead you to the destiny he has written your life with. And you will get there in the name of Jesus. You see, there are always a repercussion to all activities of man on earth. Whatever a man saw, he shall, he, shall, he, shall, he, shall, he shall receive. Maybe you don't know, life is an echo. Life is an echo. Once you throw into the life, we throw them back onto you. Life is an echo. And therefore, don't involve yourself in every word acquired through unrighteous means will never last. Also, it comes with uh, evil consequences. Any evil you acquire, any money, you acquire through evil, we always have a repercussion. The Bible says, Say to the righteous, it shall be well with him. And say to the wicked, it shall not be well with him. Number six now, the certainty of the day of reckoning. A day of reckoning is coming. A day of accountability is coming. A day is coming when you are going to stand before your maker. A day is coming when you are going to give account of your still worship. Let us see Second Corinthians chapter 5. Verse 10. Second Corinthians 5, verse 10. Quickly, anybody who has seen it? Aha. Uh -huh. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body. A day is coming when we are going to appear alone. A day when your parents will not stand for you. A day when your wife will not stand for you. A day when they ask you how long do you spend in the world, you will not even remember how many days again. A day is coming. You are going to give account, detail of your life, both secret and public. You are going to give account. You have only one life to live. Only one. Only one life to live. I used to tell people, if you are 70 years old, you only spend 23,500 days on heart. That's all. Because God, can't, God only count our days. It's not your years. 70 years is 22,500 days. And let's be careful. Because as you are growing old, how old are you now? Multiply it by 365. You see how many days you are spending. Your, no purgatory exists anywhere. That is, there is no place. After you are your death in this world, they call purgatory. A gate of purgatory. We are going to purge you before you get to heaven. There's nobody like that. No incarnation, no reincarnation, no reformation anywhere, but God's judgment. The Bible told us in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27, the Bible says, if the appointed of the man wants to die, after that judgment. The reality of the fact that we will all give account unto God for all our activities on earth. Detailed record of your life is being recorded. Even as you are here now, there is something recording your life. Even what is going on in your mind is uh, telling God every second, even in the book of Proverbs where we read today, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 20, verse 27, the Bible says, The spirit of man 
is the lamp of God. Your spirit is the lamp of God. The spirit inside of you cannot lie. That spirit is telling God, detail about your life unto God. Anytime you are laughing, but there's bitterness in your heart, he's telling God. Anytime you are stealing and you are defending lie, he's telling God the truth. Therefore, be very careful. There's something inside of you that can never lie. The spirit inside of you belongs to God. And he's telling God detail about your life. You see, time does not remove sin. Time does not take away sin. You cannot say, oh, I committed that sin many, many years back. Any sin that is unrepented is still waiting for God's judgment. The Father shall not stand for the, uh, for the sin of uh, the Son. Everybody will stand for his consequences. There's nothing secret in the eyes of God. Everything you cover up, there already is scandal in heaven. What you are covering up now, they must not know. They must not know. They must not know. It's already a scandal in heaven because it's exposed in heaven right now. The Bible says, let hand join to hand. Sinner will not go unpunished. I want to beg you this, uh, this uh, afternoon, beloved, check your life because a day is coming. Even though we are young today, even though we are young, we are tender. But as you are growing old, you are making progress. All the details about your life, God is recording it. The day you run away from the house and you go and sleep with a man, it has been still recorded against you. The earlier you repented of your sin and turned to God, the better for you. But remember, whoever lives a life devoid of Jesus Christ in this life will spend their eternity in hellfire. You see, people were telling, you take up Jesus, then they take Jesus into your life, they said they have no time. They are still young. But when the time of death comes, they have time to die. But when you die, the Bible tells us it's judgment. I'm going to give account of every detail before the point number seven now. God expectation for us. Let us read Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. Yes, quickly. 12, 1, before we run off. Remember now thy creator in the day of your youth. While the evil days come not, Aha. nor the years draw near. Can you see? When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in, in them. them. Remember the Lord in the day of your youth. God is pleading unto you now. You need to remember the Lord. Where do you put God in your life? Everyone is crying. Everyone is weeping. Everyone is waiting patiently for that sister. Everyone is waiting patiently for that brother. How long will God wait for you? How long? I pray you will not lose the presence of God in the mighty name of Jesus. As I'm talking to you now, examine yourself. The Bible says, remember the Lord in the day of thy youth. Forsake all the works of darkness that are still manifesting in your life. I'm sure you all know the work of darkness. All the secret girlfriend, secret friend, all the masturbation, all the lying. Whether you call it public or, 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 or secret lying or, 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 or technical lying. You see, God is watching. A liar will never escape God's judgment. Are you involved in boyfriend and girlfriend? Are you involved in occultism? Stealing from God? Girlfriend and boyfriend, drunkenness, effeminate, I've said before. Water down the word of God. There are some of us now, as they are hearing the word from the pulpit now, they just water down the word of God and say, No, it cannot be. God cannot be wicked. God cannot punish the sinner like that. God that loves mankind. Because, but let me tell you, the Bible tells us today, our God is the God of love. But after you close your eyes in this world, the same Bible says, our God is a consuming fire. A day is coming when God will turn back unto many who refuse the word of God. Your life is important to God. You are sent here to accomplish your own purpose on earth. You cannot live your own life because God that created you, he has shared his life for you, and you must not live your own life, but the life of that God. And God is waiting for you, my son, my daughter. Will you perish? Will you go into destruction? You, will you live a wasted life? Even though there's strength now, I can decide who to serve. I can decide where to go. I can decide who to, who, who, where to, who to choose. But may I tell you, if you reject Jesus, you are going towards perdition. Will you not be a person in the name of Jesus? Let's bow, bow our head now and go to God in prayer. Bow your head. You want to go into prayer right now. I want to keep your hand out very well. When you get back, come read it yourself. Prayerfully, the Lord will still minister to you. Wherever you are, bow down your head. Everybody, bow down your head. You see the glory of the youth. How are you using your own glory? Bow down your head and close your eyes very well. I want everybody to close his eye. I want the ushers also to pray. Everybody to pray and say, you are going to pray, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me. 
Do not allow me to live a wasted life. Pray like that in the name of Jesus. Pray like that. Everybody continue to pray. Everybody close your eyes and begin to pray. I don't want to live a wasted life. I don't want to waste my strength on this life. I don't want the devil to avert my soul. Everybody bow your head. Everybody close your eyes. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Close your eyes. Bow your head. I want to pray with some people right now. Are you here today? You want to give your life to Jesus. You want to serve a better master. You want him to plan your life for you. Whatever you are, please raise up your hand. I want to pray with you quickly before we go. Raise up your hand now. God bless you as you do so. God bless you. Raise up your hand. You want to give your life to Jesus. God bless you, my brother. I'm still waiting for others. Close your eyes. You don't need to look at anybody. God bless you, my brother, my sister. All those raise up their hand. Quickly just say after me, Lord Jesus, from today, I recognize you as the one that can plan my life for me. Here am I, O oh God. All the sins that I have committed, I repent of them, O oh Lord. Father, have mercy upon me. Forgive me all my sins. From today, O oh God, write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Everlasting Father, I thank you for this one that are raising up their hand right now. My Father, I pray for them that you have mercy upon them in the name of Jesus. All the secret sin that they are committing, Father, remove the appetite of sin from their life from today in the name of Jesus. Power to live a righteous life, bestow upon them in the name of Jesus. Let your blood on the cross of Calvary wipe away all the root of sin in their life. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen. Let's stand up now. Let's stand on our feet. Put your hand out aside. We want to go into prayer, serious prayer now. We're going to pray three prayers. Stand up upon your feet. Stand upon your feet. I'm waiting for others that are still sitting down. I'm still waiting for them. You are going to pray the first prayer for yourself. The second prayer for your friend. And the third prayer for yourself. Close your eyes now. Close your eyes. And you are going to pray with every aggression in your spirit. You are going to pray like this. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You are not praying. You are going to pray like somebody who needs to be rescued. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Rescue, me Rescue me now. From the hand of the enemy. That want to waste my life. Beloved, fornication is your enemy. Drunkenness is your enemy. Evil friend is your enemy. Lord Jesus! I want the brother to shout it very well. Let me hear the brothers. The sister can do it better. Let me hear you. Everybody together now. Rescue me now from the hand of the Western destroyer. In the name of Jesus. Pray like that in the name of Jesus. Aha. Rescue my life, oh God. One of the destroyer. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Oh Lord, rescue me now. Oh Lord, rescue me now. For the hand of the destroyer, one of the wasted, rescue me now, rescue me now, rescue me now, rescue me now. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Look for somebody very close to you and pick the person. Hold the hand of your friend, the one that close to you, but if it's a prayer, if you're not praying, don't touch the person. No. I wonder why those sisters are still, still sitting down. Those sisters, stand up, please. Stand up over there. 
We are going to pray. Close your eyes now. Hold yourself. Hold that your friend. Hold the two hands. Face the person. Hold the person. If you're not ready to pray, go and look for somebody who wants to pray. Leave them. Leave them. Live their life. Other people have other things that they are worshiping. You may not know. Hold the two hands of that friend. And you're going to pray for your friend and say, Lord Jesus, I pray for this, my friend, that his life will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you pray like that. In the name of Jesus. Life will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Aha. Aha. Pray for the person like that. Your life will not be wasted. Your life will not be wasted. Your life will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen. 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 Leave your friend now. You're on your own. You are going to raise your two hands up. And you are going to pray this last prayer with body anger in your spirit. And you are going to pray like this. My father, my father, my father. I thought you loved yourself. Raise your two hands up. And you are going to shout at the top of your voice. Because the shouting of voice is the winning side. My father, my father, my father. Rescue me now from where I have sold myself in the name of Jesus. Pray like that in the name of Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. Rescue me now. Rescue me now from where I sold myself in the name of Jesus. Hey, Jesus' name we pray. We thank God. It has the the Lord has helped us in this in this year's uh, conference. God has done a lot in our life, and uh, our time is fast spent, and we have promised not to delay us more than necessary. And um, <clears throat> within the next few minutes now, we still have some prayer points to pray. Uh, there is no doubt today, this day, the Lord has really shared man with us. Isn't it? I can't hear you. The Lord has really shared man with us. We have prayed for this, and our prayer has been answered. Amen. Isn't it? Yes. I know that. There is no doubt. God has really met with you. I want you to pray this prayer. Say, Lord, Lord. in your mercy, in your mercy. help me to fulfill. My divine destiny. This grace is there for free. But unfortunately, many people don't make use of it. It's like somebody uh, in the higher institution, you are not ready to uh, cooperate with the lecturers. Probably you don't attend the lectures as well. Auto. And you are praying, say, Lord, I want to excel. I want to become this. I want is it possible? That prayer can never be answered. And therefore, say, Lord, give me the power and the grace to fulfill my divine destiny. Help me to fulfill my divine destiny. God wants you to fulfill your divine destiny. God wants you to be, to be relevant to your generation. It's not his way that you lag behind. You know, it will be his way that you should be a slave to your mates, to your colleagues. No, it is his way that you should exist in life, especially as a child of God. 
And therefore, you need to pray that prayer aggressively. When that prayer is going, God will do some things in your life. Deliverance will take place. There will be healing. And God will give you the power and the grace. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer aggressively. Aggressive prayer. Aggressive prayer. Aggressive prayer. Aggressive prayer. Aggressive prayer. Aggressive prayer. Rakuri kasiri katsiko soko busida. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida. Yes, yes. Pray aggressively. Pray aggressively. Pray aggressively. Puri ka puri kasiri kusoko ro kashida kato. Puri ka. Yes, 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 yes. Rakuri kasiri katsoko busi. Puri ka puri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Aggressive prayers. Aggressive prayers. Pray aggressively. Aha. 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 Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yes, yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yes. Ore kateri kusoko bu sida ba. Ere ke puri kateri kusoko bu. Siri ka hor ka pur. Rakuri ka pori kateri kusoko bu sida. Rakuri kateri kusoko bu sida. Rakuri ka siri kateri ba. Rakuri kateri kusoko bu sida. Rakuri ka siko soko bu. Rakuri ka aha. Thank you Jesus. Yes. 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 Aha. Deliverance is taking place right now. Deliverance is taking place right now. Healing is taking place. There is empowerment. Yes. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Porica, porica, sarico, soco busida. Racorica, sirico, soco busida. Racorica, sirico, soco bus. Racorica, sarica, tuco. Ereke, porica, sarico, soco. Racorica, sirico, soco busida. Ereke, porica, sirico, soco busida. Racorica, sirico, soco. Porica, porica, sirica bam. Porica, porica, sarica, tuco busida. Rakuri ka sairi ka siko tukobu. Wori ka pori ka siri ko sukobu sida. Rak. Eh. Jesus name we pray. The spirit of God make me to know some things. I will need to pray about it. Some people are just, they are strugglers. And they are supposed to excel. It's like, they know, at times they know what is, what they want, what God uh, wants for them, or what they need. But fortunately, they find it difficult to um, um, <clears throat> to make it for certain reasons. There are some powers uh, holding them to bondage. It's like being caged. I know what that means. Some of you are born great, but tied down. <laughs> and it's the will of God that you will sell. They have been struggling, 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 praying, fasting, doing all sorts of things in their academic life, in their, uh, in their career, and so many areas. Even some of them in marriage. Marita, Marita life. So you know, pray the prayer. Please pray the prayer aggressively because our time is past spent. I was like, before, we used to have uh, about uh, one hour to pray, but. Today, unfortunately, time is not our friend. And we, are, we have already know uh, what we ought to know. That is, that's, what, that's what I mean by God sharing his mind with us. Isn't it? It's now left for you to cooperate with God. And this prayer should not be limited here. It should continue uh, at home or in your church or whatever. 
or wherever you are. Please, very, very important. We pray this prayer. Um, <coughs> we need to we need to surrender our our ourselves for purging, for purging. That God should purge our foundation. There are some people, their foundation uh, is terrible. If God opened their eyes to know, hey, they will know that they have a lot to do. But because of time, as you pray, they pray aggressively, the Lord will surely do something in your life. And your life shall not be the same again. The Lord will surely change your story. And will make you relevant to your generation. Say, Lord, in your mercy, and by the power in your word, we have heard the word of God. It is the express word of God. Word from the horse's mouth. That is what we have today is what we have heard today is exactly what God wants you to, to be, God, God wants me to become. And therefore, say, Lord, in your mercy, and by the power in your word, purge my foundation. And deliver me from every yoke of bondage. Pray in the name of Jesus. Aha. Raku reka tsari katuko busida. Raku. Aha. 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 Ah. Yes. 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 Aha. 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 Porika porika siri kusuko busida. Yereke puri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Yereke puri kasiri kusoko busida. Yereke puri kasiri kasida. Puri ka puri kasiri kusoko bu. Yereke puri kasiri kusoko busida. Hayri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Rakuri kasiri kusoko busi. Rakuri kasiri kusoko bu. Yereke puri kasiri ka. Aha, 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 aha. Puri kasiri kusoko busida. Rakureka siko soko busida. Rakureka siko sobo. Rakureka. Yes. Aha. Horeka siri ko soko busi. Horeka poreka siri ka. Aha. 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 Rakureka poreka siri ka si. Yereke poreka siri ka si da ba. Horeka poreka siko soko busida. Rakureka siri ka si da ba. Horeka siri ka si da ba. Orika siri kusoko busida. Orika siri kusoko busida. Yereke puri kasiri ka. Yereke puri kasiri kasida ba. Yereke puri kasiri kasida ba. Orika puri kasiri kusoko bu. Rakure kasida ba. Yereke puri kasida. Aha. 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 Ore ka pore ka siko soko bu ore ka siri ko soko bu sida ere ke pure ka siko bu sida ere ke pure ka siko soko bu sida ba ere ke pure ka siri ka sida ba la kuri ka siri ka sida ba ere ke pure ka siri ka sida ba ere ke pure ka sida sida la kore ka siko soko bu ere ke pure ka siri ka sida ere ke pure ka siri ka sida ba ere ke pure ka sida ka ba ore ka pore ka siri ka sida ba la kuri ka siri ka sida ba Ere ke puri kasiri kasida, ore ka tari kusoko busida, ere ke puri kasiri kasida ba, ore ka pairi ka pairi ka, la kuri kasiri kaba, la kuri kasiri kusoko busida, la kuri kasiri kasida ba, ere ke puri kasiri ha, ere ke puri kasiri kasida ba, aha, 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 ore ka puri kasiri kasida ba. Ere ke puri kasiri kasida ba, la kuri kasiri kasida ba, ere ke puri kasiri kasida ba. Aha, 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 la kuri ka puri kasara, ere ke puri kasiri kasida ba, puri ka puri kasiri kaba, la kuri kasiri ba. La kuri kasi kusoko busida. Eh, Jesus name we pray. As I told you earlier, that time is not our friend. 
time is not our fight. Within, little, within the little uh, uh, few minutes ahead of us, please, I want every one of us to cooperate with the Holy Spirit and uh, spend it judiciously. That prayer point is very, very important. <laughs> when you dream that somebody is beating you in your dream, somebody oppressing you, we are running, you find it difficult to run, where you are supposed to run. You find yourself in the wilderness, having nightmares, and so many things. All these things, they are not ordinary. It's the work of power of darkness, which means God wants you to exert. God wants you to make it alive. God wants you to, just, it's not his way that you continue to be a struggler, to be a perpetual uh, uh, a struggler. Uh, it's not his way that you should, you, should, you, should, you should remain in poverty. And there are some powers tying you down. Some powers, household powers. And therefore, we need to be delivered from all this. It's not a matter of prayer alone. It's not a matter of uh, 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 wish alone. Say, you wish to become this. No, no, no. But you need to pray through. You need to prevail in prayer. And that is why this prayer is coming up. I want to pray that prayer again. Maybe you don't know the importance of that prayer point. So people don't pray aggressively. Say, Lord, in your mercy, deliver me from our old powers. Lord, in your mercy, and, the, and the, by the power in your word, deliver me from all power. I want to exist in life. I don't want to remain in this, in this condition. By this time on next year, I want to come back to, to testify. Eh? God, I don't deserve it. Isn't it? Pray in the name of Jesus. Ra kore ka siri kusu ra kore ka siri kusu ra kore ka siri kusu yes Pray aggressively. Pray, 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 pray. Open your mouth and pray. Aha. Uh -huh. Open your mouth and pray, my brethren. Aha. Rakhore ka siri kusukubus. Aha. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. My brother, open your mouth and pray. Aha. Holy Casirico Sukobusida. Eric Purica Sirico Sukobusida. Aha. 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 Yes, yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Aha, 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 aha. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Open your mouth and pray. Today is your day of deliverance. 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 Aha. Aha, 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 Ereke puri ka siri ko suko busida, ra kore ka siko suko busida. Ereke puri ka siri ka sida, ra kore ka siko suba. Ereke puri ka sika ba, ra kore ka sika ba. Ereke puri ka siri ka sida, ra kore ka sika ba. Ereke puri ka sida ba, ra kore ka sika ba. Ore ka siri ko suko bu, ra kore ka sika ba. Ereke puri ka siri ka, ra kore ka sida ba. Ereke puri ka sida ba, ra kore ka siri ko su. Porica, porica, sim.
Rakuri ka siri kusoko busida. 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 Ori ka siri kusoko busida. Rakuri ka siri kusoko busida. Ori ka siri kusoko busida. Ori ka siri Aha. 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 And Jesus name we pray. <laughs> As a minister of God, we we are we used to express so many things almost on a daily basis. Some people they want to live according to the standard of the Bible, but unfortunately, when they are in bondage, they don't know when they will fall into sin. Even some people will be will be weeping, say, Ah, I did this, I did this, I did it, I did. It wasn't intentional. I didn't even know when, when I fell into all this, the, the, uh, these vices. So many things. What I'm, <laughs> what I'm saying, in essence, is this. Some people are in bondage to so many things. So many things. Sin, sicknesses, poverty, frustration, no achievement, uh, marital delay, and so many things. And they don't know how to deliver. They don't know how to deliver themselves. They don't know how to come out. And that's where this prayer point is coming up. Probably it may be the last prayer point because our time is far spent. We have, we have promised to close by, to, to, to close, to, 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 to round up not later than 3 or at most 3.30. And it's already 3.30. You understand? I beseech you, mercy of God, you are no more a kid. Pray this prayer very well. Ah! Thus says the Lord, my children, I want to deliver you. <laughs> Pray this prayer with us, Silos. Pray this prayer with us, Silos. Pray with Z. I want to deliver you. Set of fools, peace be unto you. Pray that you get the message. The Lord is saying he wants to deliver you. But he cannot force you against your will. And therefore, you will cry to the Lord once again. Say, Lord, in your mercy, deliver me from every yoke of bondage, whatever the bondage is. He knows. Some people, they can't even express themselves. They don't know. They're just they're struggling, struggling, struggling. One, there is blockage all, all over, all around them. They find it difficult to, to, to hate, I mean, uh, to, to become an achiever as others. Say, Lord, in your mercy, your words say that he that comes of you, you will not know why cast out. You have come unto him, isn't it? Then another passage of uh, Jesus said again that if, if the Son of Man should make us free, we shall be free indeed. He wants to set you free, he wants to deliver you. Say, Lord, in your mercy, deliver me from every human body. Deliver me. If you know, if you know the bondage, me tell him. He wants bondage. This or that. Maybe, maybe marital, maybe in uh, academic, in whatever. You know what it is. Say, Lord, in your mercy, deliver me from this yoke, from this bondage. Deliver me in your mercy. Pray in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Uh -huh. Whatever the bondage is, crown to him that he should set you free in his mercy. Whatever the bondage is, it may be marital, academic, or whatever. Tell him he's ready to set you free. He's ready to deliver you. Crown to him. It may be bondage to sin, sicknesses, or whatever. Aha. Uh -huh. It may be sin, it may be sicknesses. Whatever the bondage is, he is ready to deliver you right now. Aha. Aha. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Aha. Rakuri ka siri kosoko busidaba. Ereke puri ka siri ka sidaba. Rakuri ka sika se. Talk to him right now. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. He's your father. He's your friend. Is your benefactor. Aha. I can't hear you praying. Be serious. Be serious. Be serious. 
be serious, be serious. Pray with all that I see. Pray with all that I see. Be serious, be serious, my brother. Be serious, my brother. Be serious, my brother. Be serious. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Aha. Rakuri kasari kasidaba. Rakuri kapori kasidaba. Hairi kasari kasidaba. Rakuri kapori kasiri kasidaba. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. I can hear you pray. Be serious. Be serious. Be serious. Be serious. Pray, pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can't hear you pray. Enough is enough. En enough of struggling. Enough of struggling. Enough of falling and rising. Enough of falling and rising. Enough of falling and rising. Enough of struggling. Oh, uh huh. Don't be a perpetual struggler. Don't be a perpetual struggler. Don't be a perpetual struggler. Enough is enough. Oh, it is time to arise. It is time to arise. Arise and shine. 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 Arise. Enough is enough. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Oh, yes. Enough for rising and falling. 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 <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Horika, porika, sairika, sida. Rakurika, pairika, porika, sida. Aha. Oh, yes. This is the time to move to the next level. This is the time to move to the next level. This is the time to move to the next level. This is the time to move to the next level. This is the time to move to the next level. This is the time of empowerment. This is the time of empowerment. This is the time of empowerment. Aha! 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 This is the time to arise and shine. This is the time to arise and shine. This is the time to arise and shine. 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 Oh yes. Porika porika sirika sikaba. Yereke porika sirika sidaba. Yereke porika sirika sidaba. Aha. 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 Aha, 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 aha. Sari ka pori ka siri ka siri daba. Pori ka pori ka siri ka siri daba. Ere ke pori ka siri ka siri daba. Rakuri ka pori ka siri daba. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh rika porika sirika sidaba. Thank you Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> Raise up your right hand. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I can't hear you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. This is the time to arise and shine. This is the time to arise and shine. Because we are bound to shine. 
as a glory, as a glorious youth, as a glorious youth. Oh yes, we are bound to shine. We are bound. We are bound to shine. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, we are saying bye bye to struggling. We are saying bye bye to poverty, at, and to no, no achievement. We are saying bye bye to frustration. <laughs> ah, ah, yes, yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. This is the day of freedom. 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 Oh yes. Because your word said that if the Son of Man shall make us free, we shall be free and free indeed. Oh yes, we are free and free indeed. Because impartation is taking place right now. This is the time of empowerment. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. You have set us free from every yoke of bondage. Oh yes. <laughs> you are aha. Oh yeah, today is the day of freedom. Today is the day of freedom. Oh yeah, impartation has taken place. Impartation has taken place. Oh yes, 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 oh yes. You have changed our story. Oh yes, you have changed our story. Oh yes, you have changed our story. Oh yes, oh yes, transformation has taken place. You have transformed, oh yes, you have transformed our life. Because our life shall not be the same again. Oh yes, you have made all, you have made all relevant to our generation. You have made all relevant to our generation. <laughs> oh, there are showers of blessing. There are showers of blessing. Oh yeah, you will feel our more with testimony. It is well. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Say it very well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank oh yes, there will be testimony. 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 You are coming back to share your testimony. You are surely coming back to your shalim. Oh yes, oh yes. Thank you, Jesus. It is well. It is well. Oh yes, you are blessed. You are surely blessed. Whatever good thing you lay, you lay your hands on, you prosper in the name of you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. For in Jesus' mighty and precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Clap for Jesus.